I have zero pets, okay? So I'm not too worried about that. But this past weekend, the neighborhood of Sea Point was charmed when they heard the crystal clear tones of an opera soprano ringing out from a balcony. Let's take a look. I had to let it happen. I had to change. Couldn't stay all my life down at here. Looking out of the window, staying out of the sun. So I chose freedom. Wow, that around. was absolutely beautiful and oh, it's my pleasure to say we've got the talented lady on the line with us her name is danielle bitten she is a professional singer and um professional singer and dj and is a cancer warrior and she joins express survive video call to share more about her heroic story danielle very good morning to you and thank you so much for joining us this morning hi good morning thanks for having me Firstly, what a brilliant performance. What a beautiful and heartwarming performance. What inspired, inspired you to step out onto the balcony and start singing? Oh, for the last two years, I've been touring with the musical Evita. And recently, we just went to China. We were actually in Wuhan in September. Can you believe it? Wow. And um, this role was everything to me. I got to play the lead alternate. And just like Eva Peron, it gets onto her balcony and things don't pass me Argentina. So all the people of um, Argentina, I thought I had to do it for my neighbors in South Africa. Yes. And I was also inspired by the beautiful performances in Italy on their balconies. And I thought maybe it's time to shift gears a little bit instead of just the clapping and cheering in Seapoint. I do something bigger or better and connect the neighbors more. Oh, that was absolutely needed, especially during these trying times. You're a professional singer and DJ. How has the current lockdown affected your work? I mean, from touring all over the world to being locked down. Well, no, there is no work. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> in um, January, I was very upset. I was going in for my double mastectomy on the 29th of Jan, and all of a sudden, so much work came out of nowhere. Like, I don't even know, and I was so... I mean, I even thought about changing my surgery one day to do a gig. And then yes. I realized, what are you actually doing? <laughs> Your health comes first, no matter how big the gig is. Yes. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I won't be able to work now until I finish my chemotherapy, which is probably going to be in August. Um, and hopefully after then, things will start picking up again. I really need them to. I'm pretty sure they really are going to because you are so talented and your voice is absolutely immaculate. I mean, you've just mentioned now that you are currently undergoing chemotherapy treatment for breast yeah. cancer. I mean, how are you dealing with all of that, especially during, you know, the current COVID-19 pandemic? Well, um, chemo hectic. I'm actually going there today. I drive myself to and from the hospital. I put on my suit of armor, my latex gloves, my face mask, my sunglasses. Um, and when I go in there, I park on the basement floor, I go up in the elevator, I tell anyone who wants to come in with me, please don't, give you no compromise. Yes. And um, yeah, I, I come home, my mother does come to stay with me for a few days so I wouldn't survive without her, like especially the first week after chemo. The first two times were right, the third time knocked me. I felt like I was literally on death's door. I couldn't wow. get out of bed. So she was there, she was amazing. My brother and sister go to the shops for us because she's also asthmatic, so also compromised. And um, yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is I just miss physical contact. Like I wish I could hug my, my family and my friends. And I said, after this, I'm going to have the biggest hugging party. Like that's going to be just inviting everyone for a hug. I think that's exactly. the first thing that we are all definitely exactly. going to do. Ah, Danielle, I wish we could continue having this conversation, but I know that you are documenting this entire process and your story on a blog. So if people are who are fighting breast cancer and would like to follow your progress, they need to go on to the journey within .co.za, right? That's it, yeah. I mean, it's been so cathartic for me to write during this time, to process everything. And the response so far from people has been incredible. I've truly learned what the power of vulnerability is. Like, 
by sharing and helping others to connect and share their story. Uh, it's just a beautiful thing. And I really hope that it can help anyone going through this, um, this battle. It's been challenging for me. Never in a million years did I think that I would be singing with my balcony balls. <laughs> I mean, I was so scared to lose my long dark hair, even more scared to lose my breath. Mm. And, and like, I mean, losing the hair was far worse by no means. And I just, as I did it, I felt liberated. Like, I can't explain to you when someone says to you, this is going to be the greatest blessing of your life. You think, mm. what are you talking about? Like, are you crazy? Yeah. But now I see that I've, through this, I've learned to love myself in a way that I didn't even know was possible. Oh, Danielle, that's absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to round off the show and enjoying a performance by you performing the famous Andrea Bocelli song, Time to Say Goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. 